boys and girls. Um, let me shut this off because we got loud noises. That's the Ingersoll Ren for sure. Gotta love it. It's the, what's the model number on this thing, Jake? Let's see if we can get the model number off it. There's the tank number right there. And the head number. What was the SS3? Yes, sir. -y. The SS3, there it is. So we got it filled up, got it installed. We ran the wiring for it all across the ceiling there. We didn't go up into the attic because, well, it's too damn cold because it's minus 15 out. And uh, we didn't feel like it. Uh, the problem is, is the Husky here, it still runs perfectly. Still not a bad compressor. But, big problem. How many years we had this thing, Jake? I'm 30. I'm going to want to say close to 25 years. Yeah, you were six maybe when we bought this? Five or six. We yeah. bought it to work on go-karts. Yeah. I started karting when I was probably six. Five or six I was in go-karts. So that's how old this thing is. Home Depot, right? Yeah, it was from Home Depot. It's the Husky. And the uh, tank rotted out of the bottom. The tank's got a hole in it. And it's getting louder and louder. It's unsafe to fill. So we're going to strip the parts off of it, I think. And What do you think, Jake? Make a barbecue out of the tank? I don't know. We could. We could. We could make an outdoor barbecue out of it. We could. We could do that. We have the technology. Yeah, because you know what? Don't weld them. It's Don't dangerous. weld them. These things, uh, there's a video on the YouTube. Of one of those things blowing up. And hold, just let me get the camera clean. Really up and, uh, I got stuff stuck inside he, my case cover. Yeah, so, me. yeah, the guy could have killed himself. You can kill yourself with one of these if they let go, for so sure. So don't, don't, uh, whatever you do, don't Problem weld is, them you up. don't have a way of knowing where the erosion is thinned out. And if you, if it blows through in a spot and leaks... If you weld that, it'll just move the pressure somewhere else, and you get an even bigger blowout, and that's when you get an explosion. Um, oh, he's the the video that was online of his. Holy cow! It went right. It lifted his. He had it under the workbench. It picked the workbench up, ripped apart the the overhead uh, roll up door, like we got here. Yeah, it was not not a good. So the shop's a complete mess because we're tearing through everything. We're trying to get through everything. Um, this is the project that we worked, so we now have 230 in for the welding machine. We put in a new panel. I didn't want to show you guys doing that because uh, I'm not an electrician. I don't pretend to be an electric. Well, I do pretend to be an electrician, actually, at work. So then we ran that. We did it on the surface, like I said, ran across. So we got that. We got that. We ran in the existing circle circuits. We took out a little four-circuit breaker that was in little here. breaker panel it was a mini panel um that sold so yeah we sold that on marketplace so don't throw nothing away we're getting there we're getting there so yeah we got that we got too many tires uh we're making room for the tractor we got to get the tractor in here we got some work to do in the massey 35 and a couple of sheds to fix and build and so this is kind of give you a, a lowdown of the shop so that's our compressed air menagerie right there. So we're going to run a line up over the ceiling, across, over to the compressor. And then we're going to take a line across here. And we'll have an air line down at the workbench. So we won't have any hoses running across the floor. That's when we're doing bench work. Uh, you can see there are the tools. We still got too much stuff. We have a yard sale thing we're kind of trying to do from our years racing we accumulated like a lot of on the road tools that were kind of we got to mix and match and we're just going to try and like get this strip up the mill clean and get the tires moved out of here and it'll free up space that motorcycle's going up for sale and that's the mother-in-law's bike and yeah we got we're going to probably do a video cleaning this thing up and getting it ready yeah uh it's just a little uh need some love little sporty 883 skirtster as they say so, yeah. Uh, upcoming videos on the Arctic Cat. Both of them. Mine's going to need a new battery again, probably. But no, I, I think it's good. Anyways, we're, we got some projects going. So there it is, boys and girls. The uh, Ingersoll Rand. Bought that used marketplace deal. To replace, to upsize this guy. Which, yeah. The, Got bigger, uh, bigger cylinders. 
But this is a good little machine, man. We These were it. awesome. Like, we built a, we built like, you know, like at various times, not always. It always stayed in the garage. I think I don't think we ever took this to any of the shops, did we? Yeah, we did. did. We? Yeah, we did. Where we did always we ran it on 120. Um, it's got some crapola here about peak horsepower, which is a lie. This is a two horsepower machine at best. And uh, yeah, that's what we did. So. Um, it built a lot of race cars. Well, it did, right? It, it did, did make a lot of race cars. Guys, like by hundreds, like every weekend. Like... Pop Rivet City. So you can see out the door. The snow blowers, the errands, super high output, the brute, the trailer that we uh, did the video on. So we still got basically everything. We just... Uh, Jeepers Creepers, gotta love it. So that's a view of new compressed air, new electrical panel inside the shop. Uh, we'll do a toolbox video because that seems to be the latest, greatest craze. We'll do that. Dead battery out of the... Uh, that thing screwed. Out of the uh, TYM654. That's her outside there. You can see her. We got, like, we got a lot of content. There's the arc welder. The arc 205 DS. Mystery S welder. We still got that. Uh, yeah. So we're, uh, we'll do the toolbox video once I get it cleaned up. Um, this is just constantly moving stuff around. Constantly. So we're going to build a shelf to install the fridge. So that we can have cold beverages in the summertime. Um... Still got the old shop press, the drill press. We really haven't lost that much, to tell you the truth. So we've always been good. Tires are a pain in the ass, so we're going to build a tire rack. Uh, I just saw a really cool video on there, and a guy had a really nice tire rack. Went across his entire shop. Really nice setup. The guy's a millionaire, so if a millionaire can have a tire rack, so can I. So can Jake. Uh, got a new Sean 2. That's Sean 3 over there. That's the helper. Right That's there. A job, man. That's a vintage. That could be a video all in itself. <laughs> that thing's older than Jake. Apparently, a lot of guys have created multi million dollar fab businesses and it all started on one of these. Black and Decker job made. That's an ant. That's like a 1975. And we believe it because our Sean 2, we call it Sean 2 because it was a helper. Right there. Yeah, there's it's, the original it, one. It's holding up this, the, 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 yard the mess, sale the yard sale table that we're working on. But, like, the thing is, is we called it Sean, too, because we had an actual Sean on the race team. So he was always helpful to hold something. So we called it Sean, too. That thing did a lot of welding on it. We found, we used to, like, quick and dirty would do, like, we used to have to build little spindly body braces and everything like that. We did a lot of fabricating, like, a lot of welding on top of that thing. Um, I remember doing... I got smashed in my street stock and it blew a hole in the door skin. I remember it was a rainstorm and we threw a tarp over the street stock and me and dad were welding, shut the giant hole in the door. I got T-boned at uh, full throttle it is now in Canada. And I was like probably 11 or 12, 11 years old, Asian street stock. I remember welding the door on it. This thing's been around forever. It got a little wet so the wood swelled, but I can't, like this thing... You can buy, actually, you can buy replacement boards for it. Family heirloom, like, I can't. Yeah, we can't. Memories connected to that thing, like, it was ridiculous. So that's, um, a, we uh, <laughs> we heat the shop with uh, the heat star there. We got two of them, we got the Remington. That came from the homestead up on the hill. This was Jake's. And guys, we know it looks like a total bomb went off, but we, like, you have to look around. We put up a lot of shelving. We built all yeah, that Yeah, we shelving. did all that shelving. We're, we're, work, we're work in progress. Like, we still have race car parts we have to sell. Like, we got we got some stuff we got to reduce. We don't need, like, so many jack stands. No, we always need jack stands. Well, too. yeah. I mean, we always... Don't talk blasphemy. We used to have two race cars up Clamps. Up. When you're fabricating, you can never have enough clamps. No. See clamps. Buy them on sale. So... Reach out if you want any small block Chevy stuff. I got frost plug kits. I got studs. Rocker arm studs. There's a whole bunch of crap in here. We're going to sell all that stuff off because we don't plan on building any small block Chevys. Boys and girls tuning in. Um, another great day at the shop. We got some more accomplished. We got proper electrical in here now with two, 240 volt, 241, 242, whatever it takes. We got that ready to go and uh, that's going to help us out immensely. So stay, stay, uh, stay in, stay in touch. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, we're still around. Only eight percent of the viewers actually hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost nothing to do it, and uh, it goes a long way to making the channel better. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Uh, 
ring the bell and then you'll get more content as it comes. So take care. We'll see you soon and uh, be good to yourself. <laughs>